boys and girls, this is Miss Cook, and this week we are reading the story The Mitten by Jan Brett. What we're going to do today is we are going to sequence the major events in the story. We're going to put the major events in order and retell the story with our pictures. So you should have a sentence strip just like this in your packet, and we're going to put the pictures in order to retell the story so that when you're finished, you could tell us the story without looking at the book. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this front cover page. I went ahead and put that up there. This is going to be first, the story, The Mitten by Jan Brett. Now, a good reader always goes back in the story to help answer questions. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be going back into the story to answer the questions that I'm asking you to help put the story in order. So we have the front cover and we have our front cover up here. All right. So the first thing we know is that, that Baba, um, Nikki's grandmother, she was making mittens white as snow. And did she think that was a good idea? Mm -mm. She thought that he was going to lose his mittens. All right. He wants white mittens, and Baba thinks that's not a great idea. So she tells him that first she's going to check when he gets home to make sure he's safe. But then next she's going to check to see if he has these snow white mittens that she's afraid he's going to lose. So he heads on out, and what happens first? That's right. He loses his mitten. So that is going to be our next picture. Right here next to the front cover, we have a lost mitten. Lost mitten. All right. And then who finds that mitten? The mole. The mole is the first animal to wiggle inside the mitten. So that is going to be our next picture as we retell this story. So here is the mole. What animal visits the mitten next? The rabbit. And they tell us that the rabbit has some kickers. What are kickers? Yeah, feet. I don't want to get kicked by a rabbit. So we know that after the mole, we have a rabbit. The white shoes, snowshoed rabbit. And then who comes to visit and snuggles inside but the prickly bat hedgehog. That's right, the prickly hedgehog. So then he is right here. Let's keep going. Now who comes into the mitten? The owl. Exactly right, the owl. So after the owl, who comes to the mitten? The badger. The badger. That's exactly right. So we're going to put the badger up next. And I'm running out of space on my, the, on my sentence strip. So you might have to flip over to the back. But I'm just going to put mine down here. So after the badger, who comes to, into the mitten but the fox? Yes, that fox. Ooh, I would not want to be in a mitten with a fox. All right. So then after the fox, mash, look at how this mitten is getting really plump, very big. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Now, oh, my goodness, the bear. The bear is going to come into the mitten. And like I told you guys, I'm going to put mine right down here. If you run out of room, you can put yours on the back of the sentence strip. Okay, to t retell your story. Now the bear is inside, and who comes? Which animal is last but the, the teeny tiny mouse? That's exactly right. But there is not one inch of room for that mouse. And what happens? It wiggles onto the bear's nose, and the bear sneezes. Ah, 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 chew. Yes. So here, this is our lap. next picture. Of the sneeze and what happens to all the animals they go out oh my goodness all over the mitten and as they are scrambling all over the snow who comes along Nikki and what does Nikki find there it is right there he finds his mitten and now Baba will be happy to see that he is home safe and sound, and so 
is his min, although it's a little stretched out. All right, so let's review one more time. I know that it's just a little bit hard to see. So let's review. This is the title picture, The Mitten, illustrated and adapted by Jan Brett. Then we start to retell the story that first Nikki loses his white mitten and a mole finds it and then a rabbit and then a hedgehog and an owl and a badger and a fox. Oh my goodness. Then the bear and last the mouse. But then the mouse makes the bear sneeze at you and Nikki finds his lost mitten as he's heading for home. That is a retell. That means that you put the story in order and retold what all the major events were. Great job today. You, like I told you, boys and girls, if you want to use the back, if you run out of room on your sentence strip, or maybe you'll cut it down just a little bit better than I did, um, I think you can make it fit onto your strip. All right, you guys keep working hard, um, and I will hopefully see you very, very soon. Love you guys. Goodbye.